Hey, Miguel, how are you? Luis, how are you doing? Hey, how are you, teacher? I'm doing good, and you? Uh, fine, everything okay? Yeah, 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 it's Friday, I mean. <laughs> we finished yeah, the week, it's almost Friday. ready. Yeah, it's, it's a pecado to stay here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's amazing how fast the time goes. <laughs> okay i thought hey today is friday already yeah it's friday i'm ready to go where i i don't know what are your plans for this weekend what are you gonna do this weekend <laughs> i'll stay in my house yeah good plans is the safe <laughs> Safe, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mirna, what about you? Any plans for this weekend? Um, the normal teacher work in the morning on Saturday and stay at home in Saturday at afternoon and back with the family Sunday. Honey. Okay. But it's good. You, it's important to make time for the family. Sometimes we are working and studying and have the jobs that we don't have time for the family. Mm -hmm. What about you, Miguel? What are your plans for this weekend? Uh, nothing important or nothing special for this weekend, this year. Only watch Netflix all day. <laughs> watch Netflix day. Yes. Um, Go to the supermarket and maybe try to fix something that at house, at home. Mm -hmm. Always there's something in the house, right? We can yes. uh, paint or fix or the bathroom or the electricity or something. Ah, always there's something. Mm -hmm. Ivania, how about you? You ready? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Okay. Well, guys, I guess it's only us right now. We're going to go ahead and get started uh, to make sure that we are able to finish everything. Today, the idea is to finish up our reading section, a little bit about the final part or the last types of questions that we have. Let me show you right here. Hang on. Okay. So in the last part is insert questions. This is where you must read the entire paragraph. You need to make sure that you read everything because you're expected to understand it and find out where is the best way to fit in something. So here, for example, for each passage, choose the letter or the square where the bold sentence would fit in best. The bold sentence is the one that's down here on the bottom. For example, here it says, uh, pragmatists believe that the test of any belief should be, that's the one. So the idea is, this part, the one that's in bold on the bottom, where would be the best place to put it in the paragraph? So for that, you have to think about it. Remember what we talked about. First is look at the context. Is it going to talk about description? Does it match with the description? Is it talk about process? Does it match with process? So the best way to figure it out is always try to find out. First, read the sentence and determine what information they give you. Do they give you descriptions? Do they tell you functions? Do they give you information, technical? And then when you are reading, it's easier to decide where would be the best way or the best place to put it. Today, we have several of them. We have four of those. We're going to take a moment. We're going to read them and then place them in the correct location. It's okay, the instructions? Yes. Yes? Yeah. All right, good. So there are four, it shouldn't take us too long. Um, I think it's enough time. We're about four minutes for each one. That way you have time to read the paragraph and then go the next. So we're gonna take about, it shouldn't take more than four minutes or so for each of those questions. We're gonna say, let's say 12 minutes in total because maybe, maybe you're a little bit faster, maybe 15, okay.
Homie, we are working in the final section of the reading. Roxana, we are working in the final part of the reading. Ivania, we're working on the last part the, of the reading. I'll put you again.
Okay, let's start off. Ivania, would you like to read, please? Okay. Uh, pragmatics, pragmatics is essentially an American school of thought that has had few support elsewhere. One of the first pragmatists, William James, wrote that it was impossible to discover the real world outside our sense, and therefore we must concern ourselves primarily with human experience because the world will be a worse place without a belief in human responsibility, morals, and free will. It was necessary, uh, he considered, to believe in these concepts. Another pragmatist, pragmatist John Dewey, Dewey, I don't know, Dewey? Held, Dewey, held that since truth is an instrument, instrument for solving problems, it must change as the problem it confronts change. Okay. So, guys, what do you think? What would be the best place to put the sentence that is in bold at the end? Letter B. Roxanne, what did you say? Letter B. Letter B. Okay. Very good. That is correct. The reason letter B is the best place is because in after letter B, we have specific names. The next one, we have more specific names. We have John Dewey. We have William James. We, we start to get into specifics, but in letter A to letter B is where they are explaining to you what it is. What is pragmatism? How does it function? So the best way is to continue with the explanation before they begin with the specific people. Because in the sentence, no specific people. So letter B is the best answer. Very good. Letter B. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Who would like to read the next one? Can I teach you? Okay, go ahead, Rox. Well, could you share more uh, bigger? Than? You see? How's that? Okay. Uh, first, I, I read the, the, the sentence in bold, right? Or Correct. No? Just yeah. like in the exam. The, in the exam, that's what you would do. You would read the sentence in bold and then the others. Okay. The artists who came to be called the eight in were later doubled. The Askan school used vigorous brush stroke and dramatic lighting. In the early years of the 20th century, the American art scene was dominated by painters who had established their reputation in the previous century. A. At this time, there was a general intolerance both by critics and by the by the public of any deviation, deviation from the kind of war championed by academic institutions. B, acceptable are generally employed, detailed, realistic technique and focused on subject matter or historical or mythological scene of sentimental landscapes. In, C, in 1908, a group of artists organized an exhibition in New York Gallery that constituted, constituted a revolt against this current orthodoxies. The, their unconventional work often depicted, 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 no, the depicted, sim, depicted, no, depicted mm -hmm. the semi side of urban life and sitting such a backyard, saloons, dance halls, and theaters. Surprisingly, the show was a success, success and for a time, these artists enjoyed wide, widespread popularity. Okay, uh, where would me, be the best place? For me, it's the letter D. Okay, why letter D, Roxy? Uh, because it says the, um, uh, the last part mentioned 
the show was a success of Saporatai. This artist enjoyed with the spread popularity. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> no problem. No pro the idea is, remember, the idea is not to get it correct. The idea is to know why it's correct. This is more important because maybe you are correct, but think Marin, no, this is not good. The important is to know why it's correct. You are correct, Roxy. Letter D is the correct place. The reason it's correct is because here in letter C, we begin describing artists. We don't say who, we don't say how many, but we start talking about what they are revolution, the revolt. And then in the next one, it talks about the description. So letter D is the correct place to talk about ah, who they were and what type of things they did. Because here is they revolt against current orthodox. So what did they do that was different? The sentence here explain what they did that was different and how they did it. And then in the next one is talking about the same people that they became very popular. So letter D would be the best place to put it for that reason. Okay. So what? Who would like to try letters? Uh, sorry, number three. Who would like to read number three? I can read it. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Seeds are dispersed to new sites by various means. Many such as dandelion or distly seeds have fine trough that allow them to be scattered. Yes, scattered. Scattered, scattered by the action of the wind. Some seeds such as the coconut can float and are dispersed by currents around the island of the Pacific Ocean. Other seeds have involved ways of getting around through the activities of an intermediary animal. This can happen in a number of different ways. For example, animals can make the bore the fruit containing seeds. Sometimes a seed needs to be buried before it can germinate. This might happen when a farding animal such as a squirrel fails to return for its hiding meal. Um, the, some seeds have a sticky or a sticky surface, often called bird, which may catch on the coat of a passing animal and later drop off at a considerable distance from their origin. Okay, then. In fact, a seal may require passage through uh, the good of the bird or animal before it can germinate. Mm -hmm. um, here, I think it was literacy because at school, uh, at my work, uh, we sing a song that used that word, buried. Oh, really? So, so I think uh, that's like a uh, buried. Okay, okay. You are correct. And, and I say, uh, maybe let, let her see. Uh, I just think it, it, it was Chiripa. Uh, Ah, uh -huh. okay. Well, <laughs> you are lucky today, but yes. But remember, the most important is to know why. Letter C is correct because the, the word devour is very important in this sentence because devour means to eat. So mm -hmm. if they're talking about food, they're talking about the animals eat the fruit. Uh, mm -hmm. In the next one, mm -hmm. in fact, is another way to say, for example, remember, uh, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, for example, and then a seed, but you cannot say, for example, if you don't have the topic. So that's why is letter C, not letter B, because first they give you the explanation and then they say, ah, for example, 
in this case, they used the word infant. So the next one was letter C, number three. Okay, yes. very good. And number four, who would like to read number four? Hi, teacher. Okay, good. The technique of using green power to green grain between stones to produce flour is ancient and was widely practiced exactly where the first windmill was constructed in unknown about century. The person ground corn more than 2,000 years ago. The tradition has it that he know the knowledge is spread to the middle east and from there to northern Europe during the Middle Age, the power of the wind to place animal power in several regions of Europe where millwrights became highly skilled, skilled craftsmen and rapidly developed the technology in England that device became a ubiquitous. I cannot pronounce Don't worry, ubiquitous. Okay, ubiquitous. Future of the land, landscape and by 1,400. There were 10,000 windmills concentrated in the south east part of the country is capable of grinding 10,000 bushels of grain a week. Starting in the 19th century, the mill started to decline in importance with the advent of steam power. By the mid 20th century, few working mills remained in use. But in the same years, efforts have been made to restore and maintain these rom romantic souvenirs of a um, bygone age. The Dutch, in particular, made considerable improvements and use green milk to pump water as well as to produce flour. And where do you think would be the best place to locate the, this sentence? Never see in England, teacher. Okay, why? Concentrate. Develop that technology. Oh, no, excuse me. Um, I think. Okay, okay. <laughs> you are correct. It's letter C. And yes, it's because they are describing technology and they are describing how they use it. And then uh, they give you not only how the technology developed, it says rapidly developed. Oh, and then they give you more examples. Not only the windmill, but also they use for pumping water and to produce flour. That's why letter C is a good place not letter D, because here in the next one is only describing the amount and then what they did. Why in the next, in letter D is already losing the idea because here is, oh, they lost the importance for steam. And here the idea, not talk about another topic, talk about the same topic. That's why not letter D for after, but letter C is the most appropriate. Letter B, no, because letter B is talking about the time during the middle ages in the from the in the area so we're talking about location and the time so for this letter this sentence is not location and is not time it's about the technology so the letter c is the best one here we can check to make sure all our answers are correct and you see letter c number four letter c number three letter d number two and letter B number one. Okay. It's okay why each one is correct.
Were there any questions? No, it's a little difficult, but ah yes, 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 that I believe. <laughs> that yeah. is guaranteed. It's a difficult part. Mm -hmm. But remember, the most important is the mistake is part of the process, but the most important is understand why is in that place and what you need to look for when you do it. This is going to help you to get better and to do better in the reading sections of the exams. Okay. Are you guys ready? Okay. We're going to have, uh, the link is in the chat and is going to be two parts. The first part is the reading and you have 10 questions. And then second part is main ideas and you need to choose, but it's the same reading. So when you finish the 10 questions, you click next and there are three more things, three more questions that you need to do. First, make sure everyone has a link. You have access to the link? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. So remember, two parts is 10 questions is part one. When you finish, you check, and then you have three more where you have to identify. Let me speak a few more groups. Here we go. Roxy, are you okay?
All right, guys. So, yeah, Kalena, what happened? No. With being uh, just telling them the answer. <laughs> I, don't, I, I see. Ah. All right. <laughs> Good. Well, remember, the important is to keep practicing, keep preparing. Um, that is the last part for our reading section. On Monday, we begin with the news section. So today we finish. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, time to relax. And then let's begin the new section on Monday. Okay? Hey, teacher, thank hey, you. Okay, thank you, guys. Teacher. Have a nice okay. night. Good night. Good night, Bye. everyone. Bye. 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 See you Monday. See you on Monday. Okay.